come you back know, for that. Yeah, no doubt better, about nice. it. I mean, it definitely feels like it's still summer outside. Sure, boy, yeah, it is. Even though it's meteorological fall, actually astronomical fall as well. Uh, temperatures up into the upper 80s yesterday. 88 for a high, record high for the month of October's 92 setback. In 1987, I don't see anything like that coming this week, but boy, we are going to be, we've got some 80s in the seven day forecast again, and no rain either. Okay, live look outside right now, Ridgefield a and camera, 57 degrees. You see some patchy fog and low clouds there. You also see that uh, from our Riverview Community Bank camera in downtown Vancouver. This is looking towards the Portland Airport. I could see it about a half an hour ago. You cannot now, so some brief fog. That will burn off. That's very typical for October. You know, October, foggiest month of the year in the Portland, Vancouver area. So I expect to see more of that coming up. 56 uh, down there in uh, Vancouver. All right, current conditions in Portland. You see just a little bit of fog across the east side of the Lamont River there. 56 degrees, relative humidity 90%. That wind north, northwest, three miles per hour. We've got lots of sunshine coming today after we get past sunrise here in about an uh, oh, hour and a half or so. Current conditions now 52 Salem 55 Eugene. Good morning you folks out there along the coast temperatures in the mid 50s 54s at Astoria and Tillamook 54 at the Dalles and then Pendleton 53 but uh, notice up there in Northeast Oregon uh, La Grande at 30 uh, at 41 but down there in the Baker Valley you know that cold air pools and settles down into the lower valleys even though they're up in elevation Baker City now at 35 so you're the cool spot there. Good morning you folks. Okay, satellite and radar. I've been watching the fog and low clouds all morning along the coast, up into the southern Washington coast as well, near Long Beach, and then pushing up to about Kalama in the, uh, in the Columbia River, and now, of course, down in the Portland area as well. But that'll be brief in the Portland area as we've got a ridge of high pressure up over the entire Pacific Northwest. Now, that system off the coast, I don't expect to uh, play a part in our weather at all this week. If anything, it's just going to continue to pump that ridge up even higher over the Pacific Northwest. Okay, there's the latest update here. Now, Scapoose down to a mile. Vancouver at four miles. Portland at nine. And then out there along the coast, Astoria, your visibility at four miles. So we've got some fog and low clouds coming in. Now, these daytime highs yesterday, there's those 88s we were talking about. That's 18 degrees above average for this time of the year. And just shy of the record yesterday, which was 90. And uh, we did see a 90 there at the Dallas. Okay, day planner today. We'll call it partly cloudy this morning with some patchy fog and low clouds, and then we'll break all that out this afternoon. Lots of sunshine. Temperatures going up into the lower 80s. Now, 90s in October, they're pretty rare around here, but not unheard of. The latest we've ever hit 90 is October 5th, 1980. And then the other one I want to note is number three on there, October 1st, 1987. That was a big heat wave then as well. That's the all-time record for the month of October. And that was, of course, 92 degrees. Future cash shows fog and low clouds are brief today. Lots of sunshine in the valley, even out there along the coast. But then tonight, the fog and low clouds come back. They come all the way up to about the Cascade Crest tomorrow morning. Here's 830 tomorrow. Then they back off tomorrow night. They come in again on Wednesday. And the burnoff for the fog and low clouds on Tuesday and Wednesday is going to be closer to about lunchtime, where today we'll see lots of sunshine. So Tuesday and Wednesday are the coolest days coming up in the next seven. So we'll call it lots of sunshine today. Go 83 for a high. Then tomorrow morning clouds and afternoon sun on Wednesday as well, mid-70s. Thursday and Friday, less in the way of morning low clouds. And look at that. By the time we get to uh, next weekend, we'll call it a great weekend. Hey, every weekend is a great weekend, though. Temperatures up uh, into the lower to mid-80s with lots of sunshine. Ken? All right. Thank you very much, Steve.